I'm thrilled to be here with all of you today to get to talk to you about optics. When we talk about optics, what we're saying is, first of all, it's a cloud-based platform. It all runs up in the cloud, okay? But we take process data. We're taking thousands of data points a second from the customer's data historian, take that to the cloud with their quality data, and that's what we use to build the models with. And then we couple that with the paper making process knowledge, and then we end up with these real time predictions. So how does this apply to our customers? Well, it's pretty straightforward, okay? Most of them, to be perfectly honest, they have more data than they know what to do with. You know, if you go into the average operating room, they've got screens everywhere that are showing, they've got video images up, they've got their, their uh, DCS system, they're showing different things, but behind the scenes, they've got another four or 5,000 pie tags collecting information that they'll go back and look at when there's a problem, but they're not looking at them proactively, okay? And then on top of that, the relationships, the interactions of all the variables are extremely complex. They're not linear. Sometimes they take effect, sometimes they don't, right? And then on top of that, they've learned and continuing to learn that the tools that we've all traditionally used for the last 20 years of our career, things like Minitab, things like Excel, MATLAB, they're no longer applicable. They can't comprehend the complexity, the nonlinearity of a lot of these relationships that take place. So this here is what we think about and what we've kind of distilled down the customer's packaging operations. So as we look at it from the beginning, we've condensed it down from like 5,000 pie tags to what we consider to be the 200 most important. But by looking at these 200 specific pie tags, we have developed a predictive machine learning tool, a tool that actually learns from what its environment gets smarter and adapts. When do your customers most need the data insight and the help? They need it when things are going wrong and they can't figure it out, right? So when things have blown up and they're not making paper, things aren't right, that's when they really need the insight. But guess what? Because things are upset, that's when those traditional models, they fail, okay? This doesn't. It'll tell you there's a blip and there's gonna tell you that it's something wrong, but it'll wait, it'll learn, and then you'll see it when it comes back online. It's pretty, it's, it's really neat. And that's the piece that is really above and beyond anything else that anybody does. Mm -hmm.